You walk down the corridor appreciating the attentiveness of a lovely face. What would you do if you discovered she was a robot rather than a person? They certainly don't resemble the ones you're used to seeing. They are capable of deceiving anyone. Is this something to be enthusiastic about or worried about? Well, let's find out in this video. The Henna Hotel employs multilingual robots, yes, robots. Visitors are expected to have a pleasant stay at Nagasaki's Henna Hotel, Japan. Robots are in charge of check-in, one of which is an English-speaking dinosaur robot. Robot porters will carry the luggage up to the guest rooms. Of course, if a problem happens, the human staff is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Still, robots are also available and they make up the central staff. And sure, you can talk to them. The hotel's commitment to evolution in seeking for the amazing sensation and comfort that lies beyond the ordinary is reflected in one of the Japanese definitions of hen, which means to change. Face recognition is another unique feature of this cutting-edge hotel. With keyless locking and entry, visitors won't have to worry about forgetting their keys during their stay. If you don't want to use facial recognition technology, you can request a card key instead. The Henna Hotel does not have a restaurant or room service or microwaves, so travelers should keep that in mind. However, a restaurant is within walking distance. The hotel's concept is to give the essential necessities to avoid unnecessary amenities. But don't worry, there's no charge for using the Wi-Fi. If you had stayed at the Henna Hotel in Japan before last year, you would have had access to a staff of 243 robots. From the nodding velociraptor and humanoid operating the front desk, to the recycling bin droid that patrol the halls, and the talkative in-room artificial intelligence AI concierge. The world's first robot hotel contained mechanized fish swimming around a tank in the lobby. The world's first robot staff hotel, the Henna, which loosely translates as strange, made its debut in Nagasaki in 2015 to much publicity. It was seen as a futuristic design. Customers may have a unique and delightful experience with robots on staff at a hotel. In contrast, hotel owners save a lot of money on people. Dr. Nick Naumov, senior lecturer in tourism and hospitality management at the University of Northampton and visiting professor at Meikai University in Tokyo Bay, who specializes in how AI and robots affect service quality in hotels, says, from an operational cost point of view, it was quite a brilliant thing. At most, they hired 30 people to staff 140 rooms with a capacity of 300 people. But as things went smoothly, they reduced the number of employees to seven, which is really a decent ratio. This robot hotel originated in Japan, a nation that exports more industrial robots than any other, and has long been ahead of the curve in robotics technology and innovation. Which chimed with the narrative perfectly. Henna's owner, Hideo Sawada, cited the country's love of anime and manga robots as inspiration for the hotel shortly after it opened. This type of robot hotel will spread worldwide in 5 to 10 years, he said. The company did open another hotel in Urayasu, Tokyo Bay, and had eight more robot hotels in the works at one point. However, these intentions never materialized and Henna eliminated more than half of its robot staff in January 2019. Robots are being laid go to an unusual hotel. The novelty of robot hotel experience and the extra color to their social media feeds drew guests in at first, but things swiftly went awry. Only English and Japanese were available to the front desk robotic dinosaur and humanoid. Later, Mandarin and Korean were introduced, but many attendees, including a Scottish man who recorded his experience on YouTube, struggled to grasp them. The robots also struggled with different passport and identity card formats and photocopying the documents, necessitating frequent human involvement. Churi, the in-room voice assistant, was irritating to guests. 
It could execute basic commands like turning on and off the lights. Still, when customers asked more complicated questions like travel plans or theme park opening times, it appeared elementary compared to Google Home, Alexa, and Siri. Shuri mistook snoring for a voice command, prompting a jubilant response that awakened the guests. The hotel had to boost its workforce levels to deal with increasing complaints. The robots themselves required more expensive maintenance. Like any other gadget, now Mav continues, they needed frequent repair and constant software updates, and those things aren't incredibly cheap. After a visit in 2016, one hotel visitor commented, about half of the puppy-sized lobby dancers appeared to be damaged or in need of charging. After the hotel downsized its robot workforce, a longtime hotel employee was reported as saying, It's easier now that we're not being approached by guests to assist with troubles with the robots. It's not a question of whether or not artificial intelligence in customer care is valuable in the hotel industry. It most surely is. According to Bjorn Schuller, professor of AI at Imperial College London, whose expertise is effective computing, or the science of AI and emotion, what happened at Henna Hotel encourages us to think about which applications AI is suitable for and which it isn't. The most useful application of a bot is not in a social environment, he continues, but when you need precise information in a short period or to prevent having to wait for something, some of the most well-known hotel robots such as Hilton's Connie, employ IBM's Watson AI software to provide personalized information on visitor attractions, restaurant recommendations, and hotel directions. Robot butlers are used by other well-known hotel companies such as Marriott and Yotel for short but basic room service requests like providing a towel, coffee, or lunch. According to Naumov, room service and other entry-level activities like cleaning and luggage, transportation, handled by robots at Henna, increase efficiency while freeing up human workers to greet visitors, resolve complaints, and take other critical customer care needs. The human touch will never go away, he claims, adding that human-centered service may be the new currency of luxury hospitality in the future. This could indicate that low-cost hotels rely extensively on service automation, robots, and AI while maintaining a substantial, visible human staff, whereas high-end hotels do not. For a robot hotel, the perfect robot, there's also the matter of trust to think about. Even if we believe a human concierge gives us insider information on the best local eateries or places to get currency at a reasonable rate, a robot would always put the hotel's goal first. In the future, a robot will always offer you greater information than a person since they will not forget things and will be fully updated with the latest news, Schiller continues, but then it becomes a matter of trust. A person may appear to be doing you a favor even if it means jeopardizing their job. Still, we all know a robot is always on the company's side. Unlike the front desk humanoid at Robot Hotel, Henna, the Hilton, and Marriott droids appear to be conventional robots, as represented in 1980s cinema and television, rather than human-like reconstructions, which some people find unsettling. We might not mind an automated check-in counter with face recognition sensors or using our phone as a room key in a low-cost hotel if it saves us time and money. Having a humanoid in control of that function, on the other hand, adds an extra layer of detachment to the experience that we might not have noticed otherwise. The perfect kind of robot, on the other hand, can become a huge draw. When Mario from the Marriott paid visits to local schools and football teams and even gave speeches at welcome and farewell festivities in Gent, Belgium, he became a celebrity. According to Schiller, hotels may profit by developing celebrity AI to entice customers, which may be integrated with robotics technology as conversational AI becomes better and more charismatic in the future years.
Once we have natives of socially and emotionally aware AI, this digitally advanced generation of customers could have a whole new level of perception, Schiller says. Perhaps they'd look for AI with distinct personality features such as well-known AI to cheer. So long as the AI can tell the difference between snoring and talking. That's it for today. What do you think about today's video? Tell us in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press the bell icon to never miss an update. See you next time.